and in today's video you're going to see really really wild guinea pigs. Hello Nugget, do you want a pee flag now? <laughs> so the guinea pigs haven't had their morning pee flag yet, Sylvester is going to get extra pee flags today. Quick, quick. Good morning Nugget. Ah, Lulu, aim, not my finger. Gatsby. Nugget is a really hungry guinea pig and you have to be very careful to give the right guinea pig a pea flag. Right Nugget? Lulu, did you just close the pea flag box? What? So these are the hungriest guinea pigs as you can see, but I swear I feed them. <laughs> I'm still not sure what to make of the camera. Nugget on the other hand is trying to eat the lens. So you can see that. <laughs> But basically, we have Lumi in front of the camera, the picture you're seeing, looking kind of confused into the camera, and then four other guinea pigs surrounding the camera. Now you can see Gatsby surrounding the camera and trying to get the camera's attention because they know that the camera always means food. And Nugget just got ready for the castle cam. <laughs> Nugget, we did castle cam last time. We don't have to do that today. Like it's like, but I want a treat! <laughs> so I'm showing everyone the castle! Now Nugget is teeth chattering at me. We'll see whether we can get Lumi's attention. That was my fingernail. I think that's a happy Lumi. Oh wow, Lumi! So I also wanted to talk about the secret of taming guinea pigs today because we made some really good progress with Lumi and if you're interested in like kind of a taming diary with like a bit of old footage just let me know um, so that I can go through the process in like a step-by-step -step kind of way. So the secret of taming guinea pigs, as you might have guessed, is obviously also food um, because love and trust always go through their stomach, but also um, just time. As you can see, Nugget is just taking matters into her own hands. Nugget! Nugget! Okay. I thought you were joking, but you, were, you meant serious business. You really planned on pulling that thing inside the cage. Nugget! Can you see how Lumi... It's now, okay, Lulu just pushed her away, but Lumi is now standing here. And Lumi's standing up. Lumi! Hey, Lumi! How's life? I'm being attacked. Um, I would love to pet Lumi, but two other guinea pigs are kind of preventing me from doing that. Okay. Let's try this again. So the secret of taming guinea pigs is really the most obvious one is food. You will probably guess that, like you can find that everywhere online. Guinea pigs love food and that's how you can build trust with them. Um, and it's going to make them curious, it's going to make them explore and food is also, oh Lumi, food is also um, going to make them want to trust you because they want to take food out. So that's the obvious thing. The second one, also kind of obvious, is time. Um, it really helps just giving your guinea pig time to settle in. So with Lumi, when we got her, I was kind of not sure whether she would actually be really tame. Look, I can pet her now. Because Lumi was very, very shy. She was always running away. Um, not only because she was scared of like our hand and us, but she was also scared of the other guinea pigs. So she would just really hide. She wouldn't really interact with the other guinea pigs. Um, she would hide a lot um, on the castle and not really interact with the other guinea pigs. So, ouch. So I was really worried that it would take several years to tame her. We gave her time, we never took her out of the cage. Um, we always tried to offer her pea flag, but for like the past couple of weeks, we took pea flags in 
put the PFLAC in front of her, but she didn't um, come to us. She just didn't really want to take the PFLAC out of her hands. So even in the morning when all the guinea pigs come running, she didn't do that. And that's kind of, that's perhaps another aspect of taming. If you have tame guinea pigs, usually if you add another guinea pig, they're going to become quite tame as well because they, guinea pigs, are strong in numbers pretty much. Um, that's their instinct. They really rely on other guinea pigs behavior and other guinea pigs level of being afraid. Um, so if all of the other guinea pigs are really tame and are really not scared at all, the new guinea pig is going to adopt this behavior as well because the other guinea pigs are signaling hey, everything is safe and the new guinea pig is going to rely on that. So that is probably also 2.B. So that time aspect, so if you wait long enough and your other guinea pigs are tame, then your new guinea pig is probably going to copy that behavior. Um, but yeah, giving your guinea pigs time and just letting them be and don't try to force it, but at the same time still always interact with them. So always, always offer them food out of your hand. Um, you can also try to like boop their little nose, things like that, um, still always do that, even if they're afraid, like don't, obviously don't put your hand inside a Heidi if they're hiding, but like if they're outside and not immediately running away, always try to interact with them, even if they're just semi-interested. <laughs> and so the third secret, which is not that obvious and you don't find that one that often online, is observing your guinea pigs and you should always observe your guinea pigs anyway because they, they could be ill like guinea pigs are masters at hiding their illnesses but also if you observe them you will notice when they're willing or when they're ready to interact with you more so for example Lumi started hanging out more outside started hanging out less inside um, a Heidi she was interacting more with the other guinea pigs she also tried jumping on this pillow for example um, so there were a few signs showing that Lumi was kind of ready to be more active and to do things and it can also help to observe your other guinea pigs and kind of the dynamic inside the group so Lumi is still running away if other guinea pigs come too close to her but for the past couple of days Nugget started chasing her um, and rumble strutting. So I think Nugget in general is just in that teenager guinea pig phase where <laughs> they want to find their place in the hierarchy. Um, but the fact that she started suddenly chasing Lumi and Lumi was interacting with Nugget and sometimes running away but then also sometimes like looking at Nugget and interacting with her kind of showed us that the other guinea pigs started really interacting with her, seeing her as really part of the herd which kind of meant that Lumi was probably um, less shy in front of them and was willing to interact with them which kind of showed us that she was really settled in that she would really like to be part of the herd and would like to find her place in the herd so we gave her a couple more days and she suddenly started coming up here um, and she didn't put her paws on here like she does now but she started sitting here and like looking out of the plexiglass and she never did that before so she always stayed kind of in the part of the cage where most of the Heidi's are um, with the exception of the hay rack, obviously. But Lumi started sitting here, she started sitting here in front of the plexiglass. She just in general started to interact more with the other guinea pigs. And that just really showed us that Lumi was ready for more taming. Um, and so we started feeding her more, paying her more attention. We started giving her more treats. And then suddenly she put her paws on here. I was sitting on the sofa watching TV and like Lu like Lulu is now, Lumi was suddenly standing there sniffing in the air and just looking. So I immediately ran over and gave her a pee flag and I think now she's gotten the hang of it. Lumi, congrats! You're one of them now! Not entirely sure if that's a good thing to be one of the wild guinea pigs. Oh, Nugget, yeah, thank you for proving my point. Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding, obviously. Everyone is really loving and really nice. You're going to have a great life here. Everyone's super nice. And Sylvester is up there speaking to his people. There, of course you get a pea flag. Such a hungry guinea pig. I think we can also refill the hay rack. Lumi and Gatsby are just snacking some and it looks kind of empty. Here you go, piggies.
So I saw a comment somewhere where someone was like, oh, I can't decide whether Lumi has red or black eyes. Lumi has actually red eyes. Um, they kind of have the same color as her ears and nose. So she has really, really red eyes. Um, Gatsby has red eyes, by the way, as well. But Gatsby has these type of eyes. I think they're called ruby eyes, perhaps. So in like 80% of the light and pictures and videos, Gatsby's eyes appear to be black. As they do now but like if there's a special kind of light they are just really really red um, and if you get really super close you can see that they're red as well but like if you just look at her like this they appear to be black I think it's called ruby eyes if guinea pigs have that but um, Lumi has super red eyes but then she isn't an albino because her fur isn't really completely white um, so you can see Nugget has really white fur and then Lumi's is kind of white yellowish. She kind of looks like a sheep or like a lamb. Nugget is looking for the best pieces of hay <laughs> and they're all on top, clearly. I think this is going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and see you guys next time! And Sylvester just said cut <laughs> and he's coming back.